Welcome to the Friday Phoenix. I'm your host, Andrea Bridges-Smith. In our top story tonight, Tucker Carlson has admitted to lying on his TV program saying, I mean, I lie. If I'm really cornered or something, I lie. I certainly do it, you know, out of weakness or whatever. Hey, Tucker, if you're having a moment of weakness, there are some other things that you can try, like eating some chocolate chip cookie dough or doing cocaine with hookers. No need to lie to your millions of viewers. Cocaine and cookie dough, that's the ticket. Move over, horse paste. There's a new weapon in the fight against COVID, betadine, which conspiracy theorists say is a treatment for COVID. This is, of course, a lie, and poison control warns that betadine can lead to vomiting, kidney failure, or even death. Or you could try Zolgroff, the snake tranquilizer I've invested my life savings in. Zolgroff. It could kill you, but you won't know till you try it. This week, North Korea launched ballistic missiles, and oh my god, we do not have time for this shit right now. Read the fucking room, North Korea. There are other things going on. But we wanted to demonstrate our military power. Great, yes, your military is super awesome and Kim Jong-un is very handsome or whatever it is that you need to hear right now. Just sit down. We'll get to you when we can. And finally tonight, the U.S. Census Bureau has found that the pandemic stimulus measures lifted almost 12 million Americans out of poverty. So giving people money made them not poor? I don't think any of us saw that one coming. Government researchers are now looking into whether giving people food helps them not starve. That wraps up this week's episode of the Friday Phoenix. Join us next week because there's always more news to peruse.